Second Circuit Court of Appeals in New York late Thursday has upheld the United Nations immunity from a damage claim filed on behalf of 5,000 cholera victims in January 2015 who blamed the United Nations for an epidemic of the deadly disease in Haiti. The ruling came shortly after UN Deputy Spokesman Van Hock referred to the United Nations' own involvement in the introduction of cholera to Haiti that is now considered an endemic. Hawk said in a statement that the United Nations need to do much more to end the suffering of those affected and pledged that a significantly new set of United Nations actions will be presented publicly within the next two months. The executive director of the Boston-based Institute for Justice and Democracy in Haiti, Brian Coconan, said advocates for Haiti and cholera victims will be watching the UN's actions closely as they have 90 days to decide whether to file an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. Since its introduction to Haiti in October 2010, cholera has killed more than 9,300 Haitians and sickened over 800,000. And after 10 months, there was a devastating earthquake in the south of Haiti, deepening the country's misery at the time when it was ill-equipped to cope with another crisis. Now, U.S. President Barack Obama has been accused by Donald Trump for paying an Iran ransom money to secure the release of U.S. prisoners. The Obama administration said a payment of $400 million was made to Iran seven months ago was contingent on the release of four Americans, including Washington Post reporter Jason Rezaian, who were held in Iran. This is the first time the U.S. has so clearly linked the two events, prompting claims that the payment was a hostage ransom arrangement which runs counter to the long-standing U.S. policy of not paying ransoms. The State Department spokesman John Kirby insisted that negotiations to return the Iranian money from a military equipment deal with the U.S. backed Shah in the 1970s were conducted separately from talks to free the U.S. prisoners, but events occurred in January 17. However, he maintained that the U.S. withheld the delivery of the cash as leverage until Iran permitted the Americans to leave the country. Obama has said his negotiators secured the U.S. a good deal on a busy diplomatic weekend that also included finalizing the seven-nation nuclear accord, but he and other officials have consistently denied any link. We now move on to Mineo Rishamone for some sports updates. Do stay with us.